Hi guys, welcome back. Today, I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on Stripe, how we can utilize it for your business. So let's get started. First, what you have to do is you will simply go to stripe.com and you will land on this platform. Stripe is a payment infrastructure that allows you to accept payments and send payouts on your websites and marketplaces. With Stripe, you will be able to send invoices and create visual cards, get financing, manage business spend and more. We can add Stripe to our online stores and websites that we create and we can integrate to any kind of platform. With Stripe, we can add our debit cards and add our payment method. It is really secure and has all the right integrations for us. To get started with Stripe, you will find the sign in option right here. Click on sign in and then we will click on sign up. Because we are signing up for the first time, enter your email address and enter your full name, then select your country and set up a reasonable password. So I will quickly go ahead and fill in this form. Once you have entered the detail, you will click on create account and your new account will be created on Stripe. Once you sign up, this is where you will land. This is our main dashboard. So on Stripe, you will find the home option, payments, balances, customers, billing and more. In more, we have subscriptions, invoices, payment links, terminal readers, connect and much more. So on the home page, click on explore and this will allow you to activate payments. Now to activate payment, what you need to do is simply enter your business type in here. First, we will have to enter our business detail because Stripe allows us to create payment methods and add payment methods to our business stores like Shopify, Wix, WooCommerce, Amazon, and more. So to connect search platform to, a, to an online store where you will be accepting payments, you need to add your business details. So first we have business type and in here you can select individual, click on continue. Then we have business details. Business details simply means that you will have to enter more of your business details such as your legal name on the documents, home address, phone number and your social security number. Then we have personal details, fulfillment details and public details. Then we also have to enter our bank details because the payments received on Stripe will be added to our bank account. Then we have secure your account which allows you to add additional security. Then we have tax calculation, climate contribution and finish. So you can just fill up these forms to activate the payment methods. Once you do, then your account will officially be activated and you will be able to accept payments on Stripe or send payouts using Stripe. Then we have the payment option right here to create payment. You can see we have different options to create payments. So let's say you want to charge a customer manually, then you can click over here. And we can add a payment right here. Let's say that I have a payment of $100. Then I will have to enter my details for my customer. You can add more customers as well. To enter a brand new customer, you enter the name then email address and description. We can also enter billing information, but for now I will click on add customer and a brand new customer will be added. Now I want to create a payment for this customer. So my payment is $100. We get all of these different currencies here and you can select from any of the currency. We have description, statement descriptor and payment method manually enter your card information. So in here from where you will be doing the payment, you will enter your card details and these $100 will be added to Stripe. Once you have added all the details, you can submit the payment and this payment will be submitted on Stripe and it will be sent accordingly. We can also create invoices on Stripe. So to create an invoice, you can go to invoice option right here. Click on create a new invoice. Now again, we have to enter the customer. Let's go ahead and create a new customer. We have to enter the email address, select the language and click on save customer. So now we have created a brand new customer. We will click on item and you can enter any kind of item or create a new item. Right now, let's say that I'm creating an invoice for a product. So I will click on create new product or item and type in the item name. Let's say that I'm creating this invoice for a service that I provided. 
The quantity is one and the price is $100. I can add more, but for now I will click on save. So we have one item and if I want to add more items I can. You can also set a due date, add a memo, add custom fields, footer and select a template for your invoice. This is the preview of my invoice that has been created. Once my invoice is created, I can just go ahead and download it as a PDF as well. Or I can also download the payment page. This is how we simply create invoices on Stripe. Then we have the balance option and in balances we have our total balance. You can also select different currencies. Click on this button right here and it will allow you to add a bank account. But first make sure that your payments are activated to use this feature. Then we have customers and as I showed you to create a customer you can click on add customer and it's really easy you enter your name account email and description and this way your customer will be added to your Stripe account. So that's basically how you can use Stripe as a complete beginner for your business. So that's it for this video. If you found value in this video then do make sure to give this a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel. Thanks.